morning. Okay. First Peter, two verses nine to ten. Back of the Bible. Dear friends, oops, sorry. But you were a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. So when we think first Peter, we think of persecution, Peter, Nero, um, and we remember about how we are chosen. We are not of this world. Our home is in heaven and we don't belong here. Okay, so those are the big things to think of when we think of the theme of Peter. Okay, First Peter. Um, right now, Peter continues with this when in this verse of verse 9. You're a chosen people. Remember we talked about that yesterday about how we're God's special possession. We are God's. Um, he chose us. He he has placed his seal on us, a blessing of, um, he, he has made us a royal priesthood. Back in the day, in, um, in the Old Testament, you couldn't just, it was, you couldn't really just go and pray to God, like some people did, but it was, they didn't have the Holy Spirit with them. They had to go through a priest. Why? Because we are sinful. And so they would have to go to the temple, do these big sacrifices, you know, bloodbath everywhere of, of sacrifices. And then the priest would go and intervene for the people. And when Jesus died, uh, the curtain and was, was the, the curtain ripped, right? The curtain between the most holy place where no one could enter where God was and um, the holy place, it ripped. And that was God explaining to the people that um, we can go directly to him now because Jesus is our um, is our connection because Jesus covered our sins so now he's restored the relationship between us and God and so we can pray directly and when the Holy Spirit was sent to us Pentecost at Pentecost we're able to just we have the Holy Spirit in us we can talk to God all day every day if we want to which is amazing um Right, A holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. So we talked about last day about how, you know, we're not zapped up to heaven once we become Christians because we have a job to do. And today what I really want to emphasize is that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Our, it's not saying you're here to convert everyone. And I think sometimes as Christians, we focus so much on that. Like, I've got I've to gotta share the gospel. I've got to, you know, my neighbors all have to come to, to Christ. That is, that is part of our responsibility. But our main responsibility is to declare praise of God. And that is often a better influence or a better way of sharing the gospel than us going out and kind of artificially looking for opportunities. Do you know what I mean? Um, now, I'm not speaking against that because there's times where that's totally what God wants and there's many people who've come to Christ through that but there's also times where we just live out our faith and when we're so in love with God and he's such a part of our lives that he's going to come up in our conversations remember I, I told you about that friend of mine who um uh who's amazing she she just she's always talking about God um and you can't get away from it and not like you would want to get away from it or anything because it's amazing but um, it's just so part of who she is. It's so authentic. It just comes out. Um, and you can just so tell she's in such a strong relationship with him that you like, it's just obvious. Right. And so I have a, we have a friend, mutual friend who's very much not a Christian, very against Christianity, thinks Christians are very, um, what's the word? Uh, very intolerant and narrow minded. And a lot of what Christians believe really offends her. Um, she just finds it very narrow-minded. And but when she she says, you know what? She said to me, I've had lots of people like because she knows a lot about the Christians, and she's like, they kind of preach at me and they kind of try and convince me to believe in their God. She's like, I'm not interested at all. She's like, but seriously, this girl's God, this this friend of mine, I'm telling you, she's like, this girl, I could actually believe in that God. Like he seems like he's really good like he seems like he's really you know that's the kind of god i could believe in not not that other god and i think there what's key is it's about just genuine living with god and just 
God being so in you, he, he just comes out in everything you do. Um, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness in his wonderful light. I was once challenged, and this is my challenge for you today. I was once challenged to write down every time I had a prayer request. Uh, and the reason is so many times God's answering our prayers and we pray something and then we forget. Uh, or um, we pray something and we're like, oh, I didn't get it exactly how I wanted it. And actually God actually answers the prayer, but we just didn't recognize it. We pray a lot sometimes without realizing it. And God answers tons and tons of prayers. Um, they say there's three ways God's going to answer your prayer. It's going to be yes, it's going to be a no, and it's going to be a, a wait or a later. Um, so what I'd love you to do is get a notebook out or get a piece of paper, stick beside your bed, stick stuff it under your mattress, whatever. And um, every time you, like at the end of the day, think of all the prayer requests that you've made, write them down and then do a column like for yes, no, and wait. Um, and see what happens. I remember thinking like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll write down like 20 and I'll get like one answered. I had every single one answered. And there were some that like couldn't be answered till I was an adult. It would be like, you know, please let me become a teacher or whatever, which uh, by the way, check, that one's checked off. But um, it, it some of them were going to be later. But for the most part, anything that was current, it actually was answered. And I would have sworn that, you know, I wouldn't have sworn, but I, I would not have thought that that would happen. Um, and what's cool is when we take time to pray and see God answer prayers, it really strengthens our faith. And it reminds us we're in relationship with God. We're not just praying prayer requests to some, some empty being up there in the heavens. Like he, he cares about us. He's chosen us. We are his royal priesthood. Um, and our, our prayers have power because of who God declared us to be. Um, so I just had an amazing prayer request. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't go into the specifics because it doesn't concern me, but, um, yesterday I was feeling pretty low because I was thinking like I have this situation and it's not going to get resolved. It's going to be a very slow fix and I feel lost. I don't know how to, to deal with it. And I told my dad and he and my mom just started praying and bam, this morning I got up, got two phone calls prayer basically answered and the situation is not resolved but now I have the keys to move forward um so that was huge and so I called my mom and I was like oh my gosh this prayer was totally answered and she said you know what I just had a prayer answered and she was saying about how well I won't go into hers but it was cool and then I was able to tell her about that friend of mine with the whole thing in China and about how that prayer was answered and she was like huh isn't that cool God used four different people there to bring about this this answer to prayer and it's cool God does that and if we don't write this stuff down we forget about it and our role is to declare the praises of him that's our role is to be declaring what God has done in our lives and don't let those opportunities get away God loves hearing us praise him and God loves hearing us um, be excited about things that he's done and some people are skeptical and they're like, oh, well, you know, this was a little thing, you know, like it could be stuff like, you know, God, help me catch the bus or Lord, you know, please let me get along with my sister today or please, you know, help me to have a good day or something. And then people are like, oh, you know, that's not really God. Like that's just jumping at everything and, and you know, but think about it. If we don't say that was God and we don't give him the credit. And we're just like, oh, that was coincidence. Is God going to be more likely to be listening to us? Do you know what I mean? And God always listens to us. But is that giving him honor? It's much better to give him honor for things that than it is to not just in case. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. I don't know how to explain that any other way. I think, I think it is much better to thank God for this thing that happened and thank God saying you answered my prayer than to err on the side of caution and not thank him. Does that make sense? So yeah. So my challenge to you today, write down the prayers, do it all week, man. Do it all week. Do it for the next month. You'll, you'll be blown away. I promise. Um, write down the prayer requests. Uh, yes, it was answered. No, it wasn't answered or, um, or God said no. Sorry, not that it wasn't answered, but God said no. Sometimes it's really good. God doesn't answer all of our prayers like with a yes, because you know, I'd be the next Elon Musk and we'd be heading into space. I'm just kidding. We wouldn't be, but I would, you know, it's really good. God doesn't answer all my prayers. I probably have like 30 dogs. They would be terrible. My whole house would be plants. I'd be living in a giant plant with dogs. <laughs> Anyways. Um, 
So yeah, not relevant. Anyways, um, let's pray. Dear God, uh, thank you for so much for today. Thank you that you answer our prayers. Thank you that our role on earth is to praise you and to declare your praise. And uh, that's a really wonderful role. Like if I could choose anything, that's pretty awesome. And uh, I just thank you so much for that. And pray that you would um, put on our hearts, rem remind us to remember these prayers, God, and to write them down as a testament to what you have done in our lives uh, so that we can remember them. And... Um, I just pray, God, that you would help us today, um, keep us aware of you, and listening to your voice. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Have a good day.